welcome back to Underwater Math. I'm Sir Puffet and the Pufferfish, joined by our friend Nitro the Great White Shark. Today we will be discussing examples and non-examples of fractions. Hey mates, non-examples mean bad examples of fractions. The parts aren't equal. Let's look at our first type of fractions halves. That's what happens when we break a shape into two equal parts. Our first shape is a circle. If I wanted to cut it into halves, I can do it like that. I can also cut it diagonally, or with a horizontal line. Even with other shapes, right nitro, as long as we have two equal parts, we have two halves. For instance with this shape, we can break it into halves like this, or like this. Exactly. What doesn't work is when we have a shape and we break it apart into non-equal parts. Even if it's almost equal, there are still not two equal sized halves. This would also not be equally split into halves. What about this shape Sir Puffington, is it broken into equal halves? No, the halves aren't equally sized. Okay, what if wanted to break something into fourths? Sure, so typically you will see a horizontal line and a vertical line. With this circle, you can do that and split them with diagonal lines. Now with a square or rectangle, you have more options. You can use vertical lines, diagonal lines, and horizontal lines. We have to always make sure the parts are equal. In this circle and this rectangle, the fourths are not equal. If you draw vertical lines on a circle, the parts will not be equal. That's right. Now let's move to eighths. We'll use a circle, like a pizza pie, and draw lines like this to create equal parts. With a rectangle, we can draw eighths with one horizontal line and vertical lines. But you can't make eighths like this with a circle. Or with this rectangle, we may have four equal sized parts on the left, but the diagonal lines on the right do not create equal parts. That's right Sir Puffington. No matter if you are breaking your shape into halves, fourths, or eighths, they always have to be equal parts. Great job reviewing examples and non-examples of fractions today. Keep practicing and we'll see you next time.